Hi guys, a quick video about the Quidi Plus 4. I'll be doing a more comprehensive review later on, but this is just something I want to put out there and warn you guys about. I've had barely anything but problems with mine since I bought it and received a month ago. And I've had conversations back and forth with the customer support who wasn't very helpful and instead they, <laughs> they were calling me a newbie and, and a beginner and not knowing what I'm doing. The problems were that I couldn't get any reasonable overhangs. They all were very bad quality and drooping a lot. And even straight corners, they were all wavy in the z-axis. And I just couldn't get good prints out of it. This is one of the examples on the overhangs. It was that side up. And this is the overhang quality I was getting. I already tried to sand this. But yeah, this was printed with supports like this. The supports were only in this very low area. But all this, all the parts that I've sanded, they were horrible. As you can see here, I've sanded this a whole lot and it still has those deep grooves. My unit does have damage on the Z-axis rods. But they already promised to send me a new rod so I can replace it myself. Well, after like 40 hours of test prints, I finally found out what was wrong with the machine. It turned out that the linear rods, especially the X-axis, they were so dry and scratchy that it messed up the prints. I noticed that the, especially the lower x-axis started to develop all this dirt on it. So I wiped it out, oiled it, and after a few moves it was all dirty again, so there was a lot of dirt inside. So I kept oiling and wiping until there was no more mud coming out, and then I oiled the other axis as well. And immediately the prints were of really good quality. I could now bump up the speeds much higher and even uh, 300 millimeters per second, uh, which was something like 24 cubic millimeters of flow. Near perfect test prints. And now, great quality. This doesn't have the scarf joint on at the which is a shame, because this is a keeper. Oh yeah, this is a shaker. And this is one of the test prints. Pretty severe overhangs. Perfect quality. Well over 100% overhang. Worked great. And this was printed at a 300 millimeters per second with a 15k acceleration. And the corners, they look really good. Oh yeah, and the accelerations. The stock profiles have them at 3000 for the outer walls. I printed these test prints at 15,000. No problem. Yeah, I will surely let the customers know because they, they really need to know this. And I think that so do you. So even with the new plus four, I do recommend oiling the rods. The manual recommends uh, PTFE oil, so I used that one. I'm sure that the super lube that many use is great as well. I don't think it matters all that much, as long as it doesn't get dry. So yeah, if you get a good unit out of the box, it can be really great. If it's not, try to get it replaced, or try to hunt down what the issue would be, and try oiling the, the rods. Because it's a really easy thing to do, and it would have saved me so much headache if I would have known this right away. I'm really starting to like this printer, because the specs of the printer, they really are great. So as long as it works great, I think it's a great printer, after all. Yeah, that's all. See you later.